Another question by uh, Nader Corbano. He said in his question, I wanted to know whether I must wear something on my head during my prayer. Basically, he's asking about wearing a kufi or a turban or whatever a headwear that people wear, may, uh, mainly Muslims, in various cultures. Before I answer this question, I would like to uh, share with you that it becomes sometimes very problematic when you travel to a culture who believe in something or follow a particular madhab, especially if you are an imam and you're not aware of the cultural traditions or the madhab of this locality. So if you go to India or Pakistan or Bangladesh, you cannot just simply lead the prayer without the kufi, nor can you deliver a lecture, because they think that this is a must. Uh, similarly, if you happen to be invited by an indo pak community in the West, in America or in Europe, so, first of all, what is the ruling, Islamic Sharia ruling concerning wearing a headwear, a kufi, or a turban, or a utra, or a shimag, or whatever? It is mere permissible, which means it is neither a must, nor is it even highly recommended, or a confirmed, or emphatic sunnah. Bottom line is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ أَمَنُوا خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدٍ Take your adornment or adorn yourself upon going to every masjid. So that concept of wearing a headwear for men undergoes the custom of the locality. If you live somewhere where people normally wear a headwear, I'm talking about men, as a mean of zina or adornment, and they have no problem going to the masjid or praying without it, then there is no problem. It is definitely permissible. And the best proof to that is that when we go for Umrah or Hajj during the state of Ihram, it is completely restricted for men to cover their head with anything, to wear anything on their heads. So how do we pray? With our fard or nafl? How do we do tawaf? Then that means head is not awrah, neither in the prayer nor outside the prayer for men obviously. This is the opinion of the vast, vast majority of the scholars, Imam Ahmad wa Malik wa Shafi'i. Khalaf al-Ahnaf, according to Imam Abu Hanifa, it is disliked to pray without wearing a kufi or a head cover. The more right view is the opinion of al-Jumhur, obviously, because when we rely, when, uh, when we state a ruling or a hukm, we gotta rely on an evidence, a sound evidence. There is nothing in that regard, that says that you must cover your head. Except, of course, when Abdullah ibn Umar, uh, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, ordered his servant to wear a head cover or a kufi, even at home. And he quoted, خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِد But it is not, uh, as I said, it is neither a sunnah, nor is it a wajib to wear a head, uh, wear a kufi or a turban while praying. And sometimes the Prophet ﷺ used to take off his colon suwa or imama and put it before him while he was praying. So then uh, that should not be a point of uh, conflict or a confusion between uh, the Muslims. As well as many other traditions, when we come to realize that it is neither sunnah nor a wajib, so why do we differ? Why do we fight? Why do we blame one another? Somebody would not even attend the khutbah for an imam who happened to be given the khutbah and not wearing uh, a turban or a kufi. And another insists that, that the imam should be wearing an aba, an outer garment. And uh, it's very simple. He can be wearing a thawb. The Prophet ﷺ said in this regard, لا يصلين أحدكم في الثوب الواحد ليس على عاتقه منه شيء. What's restricted for men is to pray in only izar, the towel that one would wrap around his waist covering the aura from the navel, to the knees, and لَيْسَ عَلَىٰ عَاتِقِهِ مِنْهُ شَيْءٍ He does not have a rida, the other piece, similar to the ihram. So this is the least, most important is to cover the awra. That's why we say to the brothers who are in a state of ihram during umrah or hajj, after performing the very first tawaf, tawaf al-qudum, you must cover both shoulders. So uncovering the right shoulder would be only uh, recommended during the very first tawaf which is known as a rival tawaf and once you finish before praying sunnah al-tawaf 
And while doing the sa'i and the rest of the manasik, you must be covering both.